Hi, I'm John Armstrong, the Rally Consultant on Dirt Rally 2.0. In this video, we're going to take a little look at the basic driving techniques you need as a rally driver, such as handbrake turns, manual starts, straight line braking, and the racing line. The perfect stage begins with getting away from the start line as fast as possible. By selecting manual starts on in the menus, we can take control of all the inputs of the car to get away as fast as possible. You want to be aware of the start lights um, before we get going. As you can see, they're on the right hand side. You also see in the bottom of the screen, we are being prompted to hold the handbrake. So you want to make sure the car is in first gear, which it is, uh, engage the clutch as well. And when we hold the handbrake, the countdown will begin. You want to build the revs up to about 6,000. When the lights go out, we drop the handbrake and let out the clutch. And we want to modulate the throttle to get as much traction as we can off the line. This is uh, especially important on gravel where traction is harder to find, but on tarmac like this, uh, we can pretty much just smash the throttle. So now we've got off the start line and are traveling through the track at speed. We want to be aware of a racing line. The racing line is the fastest route around a corner and it maximizes corner speed. And basically when we come to a corner, we want to stay out to the outside on entry and when we're braking. And then we want to look for the apex. The apex is the point where we clip the inside of the corner and it's typically about halfway through the corner. Once we clip the apex, we run out wide again and uh, this maximizes the speed. Depending on the length of the corner, um, the apex can be later or earlier. So in short corners, the apex is typically earlier and on longer corners, the apex is later. Co-driver calls are read out by the co-driver who sits beside us as we travel down the stage. The goal is to define the track in front of us in high detail so we know what's coming up and we can drive the track as fast as possible. This includes corner severity, distance between corners and other warnings such as jumps. The corner severity is detailed by numbers with six being the least severe and one being the most severe. We also have square and hairpins. The distances between the corner are meters and we can have anything from 30 meters right up to 500 meters, or in some cases, more. Some other warnings include bridges, jumps, bumps, don't cut, cut, as much detail as we can so that we know what to expect and to get through cleanly. For straight line braking, the goal is to brake in a straight line without disturbing the balance of the car too much. On the entry to corners, we want to brake in as straight a line as possible. Whenever we're coming down to the corner, we need to pick a braking point that's not too late and not too early. Whenever we brake, we want to brake firmly and try not to lock the wheels, as this will cause us to lose control. Whenever we brake hard, we're transferring weight onto the front axle, which takes away grip at the rear of the car. Whenever we put in steering inputs, this will transfer weight as well onto each corner and uh, by doing this we can lose traction on one side to slide around the corner. We use handbrake turns in very tight corners, usually hairpins. By pulling the handbrake, we lock the rear wheel, which results in a sudden loss of traction at the rear. We are aiming to pivot the rear axle around the front axle. Approaching the corner, we want to reduce the speed. We need to make sure the speed is low enough to make the corner. We also need to make sure we have enough speed so the handbrake turn can be executed correctly. Ideally, we want to down change the first gear, but depending on the car, we might enter the corner in second and then down shift midway through the handbrake turn. On the entry to the corner, we want to turn the steering quickly into the apex. At the same time, we want to give the handbrake a quick and firm pull. By turning first, we transfer weight onto the outside tires, and when we pull the handbrake, this extra load helps rotate the car. We want to be able to see the exit of the corner before applying the throttle. However, in rear wheel drive cars, we want to modulate the throttle to keep the rear pivoting around the front. The clutch may be used in tighter hairpins to stop the car from stalling and to build the revs up and help with wheel spin. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to check out our other driver tutorial videos for more tips on rally driving.